X-Men Apocalypse is the latest installment in the Marvel Comics X-Men franchise. It was directed by Brian Singer. It stars James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence and Oscar Isaac. The movie is about an ancient being who's several thousand years old. He's awoken and wants to take over the Earth. He connects with other mutants and decides that basically humanity deserves to be wiped out and he wants to start again with a handful of mutants by his side. It's up to Professor Charles Xavier and a bunch of other mutants to try and stop this guy pretty much that explains the plot in a very very small nutshell now while on the surface that doesn't sound like too heavy a plot X-Men Apocalypse did actually do quite a good job of going a bit deeper into the characters and kind of tying in the previous trilogy because this movie takes place after X-Men First Class and X-Men Days of Future Past which was set before the original X-Men movie, serving as prequels in a way. And this movie, it kind of did a twofold job of connecting the prequel trilogy with the new one, but it also establishes a bit of a reboot, because by the end of the movie, a lot of our characters are decked out in more traditional comic book costumes, as opposed to the black leather stuff that we saw in the original X-Men films. So the big question is, was it any good? Well, yeah, it really was. It wasn't quite on par with with the previous two but it's definitely worth checking out now the thing is though the first maybe half of the movie was actually quite slow and there were a few times I was kind of sitting there thinking to myself man I hope this picks up and there was even two fat guys a couple of rows down in the front from me uh, who were checking Facebook messages and stuff thanks guys that's something you really want in a movie theater so for a while there I was kind of you know hoping that it was actually gonna pick up but man, did it ever. The third act, when the action really starts taking place, that sort of thing. It seriously delivered in the action stakes and didn't let go till the very end. I was really impressed. The performances throughout the movie were every bit as good as you could expect from an X-Men movie. The directing and special effects were all very top notch. 3D wise, Look, yeah, I'm a bit on the fence as to whether or not it's sort of essential 3D viewing. There were a few sequences, a few shots in it that were kind of jaw dropping and actually really did make me flinch when you're sort of flying through things and stuff like that. Overall though, look, you're probably not going to miss too much if you don't see it in 3D. The script was quite well written. There was a few really good jokes in the movie as well, particularly one uh, where they're leaving a screening of Return of the Jedi because the movie set in 1983 and there was a little bit of a comment about uh, third movies in a franchise which if you may or may not know the third x-men movie was pretty heavily bashed by fans and critics alike so i thought it was quite a good little dig at that flick i particularly enjoyed oscar isaac's performance as apocalypse in the film the main villain he was one of those bad guys who he had a motive and he wasn't just evil for the sake of being evil or you know anything like that you actually kind of kind of got what this guy was doing and and you know he had a sort of a charisma to him that I really appreciated I loved his voice as well it was pretty creepy as hell there were a couple of little things in the movie that bugged me a few little plot holes that kind of thing for instance there was one scene where a bunch of our mutants are kept in a containment facility that's supposed to stop their powers from being used and uh, Mystique manages to transform from her blue self into Jennifer Lawrence and I was kind of thinking, well, that doesn't make sense right there, but eh, whatever. So look, overall, it's definitely a worthy addition to the X-Men franchise. If you've appreciated all the movies leading up to this one, you're not going to be disappointed. It's a solid action flick, good entertainment. If you haven't seen any of the X-Men films, yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend it because you're not going to have a clue who anybody is and yeah, it's just going to be lost on you. So watch all the other ones, then go see it. That's a good idea. So aside from a few minor plot holes, that kind of thing, I really enjoyed X-Men Apocalypse and I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So stay tuned, coming up I've actually got a couple of reviews that have been requested a while back and I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Uh, that was Snowpiercer and another request I've got for The Wall. Uh, both movies that I've been very looking forward to checking out, so eventually soon I'm going to watch them and do reviews on those ones. And in the meantime, hit subscribe down the bottom there, click the thingy, stay up to date with my reviews, because next week I'm going to be checking out Alice Through the Looking Glass as well, which I think I'm 
looking forward to. I wasn't a huge fan of the first one, but this second one does look pretty good. So I'll definitely be doing a review of that one. And in the meantime, drop me some comments because I like to talk about movies. And guess who I'd like to talk about movies with? You! That's right. Catch you later. Hey. Hey, you there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Click subscribe. You see the big word up the top that says subscribe? Well, click on it. Click on it now! Do it! Yeah! Yeah!